so it is one of a very good question okay so it is saying that consider the following pseudo code this is the pseudo code what is the total number of multiplication to be performed what is the total number of multiplication you are performing here so they have given some option so what it is doing here it is first calling if 1 to n for i equal to 1 to n dimension is two dimensional then j is going to call from 1 to n okay j is going to call from uh, sorry i to j is going to your 1 to sorry i to n so i is going to run from 1 to n j is going to run from i to n and k is going to run from k j plus 1 to n j plus 1 to n and is doing one multiplication it's doing one multiplication so in total it is doing how many see this this loop is running till j plus 1 when k is your j plus 1 till n it is doing one multiplication so it is it whatever number of time it is running you add that how many multiplication that many total multiplication it is doing now this loop is running till so you are going to do is sum of total multiplication so this loop will depend on this value of j because it's inside that so this j loop is running from i j equal to r i to n and this this outer loop is running when i is equal to 1 to n now if you will sum this if you will sum this you are going to get the total number of multiplication because they are asking what is the total number of multiplication to be performed so here this this only multiplication you are doing here one multiplication when j means each iteration of this the third inner loop it is doing one more multiplication so what we are doing we are finding how many total iteration we are performing here and in every iteration we are having one multiplication so and i am going to do some of all the multiplication so this is going to run this inner loop is going to run j equal to what k equal to j plus 1 till n then this is going to dependent on this j value this second inner loop j equal to i to n and this loop is going to depend on the outer loop it is going to run till i equal to 1 to n is it clear now we will find the sum of that and we are going to get the total number of multiplication please let me know whether it is clear or not this one oh, what was the sum so we got sigma i equal to 1 to n then sigma is j equal to i till n and here sigma a equal to j plus 1 till n 1 one. Ab dekhe, so this summation we are doing till how many times see if I will give you 1 2 3 4 5 now if I will say you that j is your 3 j is your 3 okay j is your 3 you are doing summation of j plus 1 means you are doing this 4 and 5 only 2 elements you are doing this sum so how many total elements it is there means n minus j when 5 so total is number element is 5 so you are going 5 minus 3 total element 2 so j plus 1 till n you are doing this into 1 into 1 into 1 so it is going to be your n minus j so total if you do the summation of all this it is going to your n minus j because you are adding 1 1 1 1 1 okay so it is going 1 plus 1 it is going to if i make here 1 so it is going to be 1 plus 1 2 so how many total number left here it is your n minus j First, let me know whether it is clear or not. I am writing, I am taking an example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I have taken. Now, I am assuming that j is your 3. When j is your 3 and I am saying you that you add, you do the summation from j plus 1 to n, means how many total element left is n minus j. n minus j. N minus, because this you have already, you are not saying to do. You are saying j plus 1 till n. Am I clear? So, your remaining element is n minus j. And you are doing with 1. So, it is going to your n minus j is it clear clear hai kya? is it clear to all of you so here it will be summation of i equal to 1 to n then summation of i j equal to j equal to i j equal to i j equal to i then n so here you are going to get this you are going to get n minus j n minus j okay n minus j now here you are doing j is going to j is going to your i then i plus 1 i plus 2 in place of this j it is going to sum is going to be start from j's values is going to start from i till n so first i then i plus 1 then i plus 2 so here its summation is i equal to 1 to n then 
summation of this is going to n minus i because first is going to i then n minus so this total then n minus i plus 1 then this sum so this is going to be sum okay then n minus i plus 2 like this it will go similarly it will go till n minus n minus 3 then plus n minus n minus 2 plus n minus n minus 1 plus n minus c j is going to j is going to from i till n from i till n so j first will be i then i plus 1 then i plus 2 then i plus 3 so it will go till n so till n then n minus 1 previous then n minus 2 n minus 3 is it clear this one is it clear please let me know this one is clear or not please let me know whether this one is clear or not we will so summation of i equal to 1 to n here i am going to get n minus i then plus n minus i minus 1 see here minus is going n minus i minus 1 then plus is going to your n minus i minus 2 minus 2 then plus n minus n minus minus plus 3 see this this will be minus will go inside this is going to be minus and this is going to be plus then plus n minus n minus plus 2 plus n minus plus 1 then n minus this is going to 0 only n minus minus is going to 0 okay so no need to write this so you are going to get here summation of i equal to 1 till n is going to your n minus 1 this will get cancelled this will get cancelled this will get cancelled so it is going to like you are getting here you are getting here you are getting here 1 2 3 4 like this you are getting till n minus i okay. this you are getting this so you can write if you are getting doubt you should try it you should try it n minus n minus i minus 2 n minus i minus 1 till n minus so this summation is running from i equal this 1 2 till n minus n minus n minus i is it done if you are done with the writing then please let me know if you are done with the writing then please let me know it is the summation of the number natural number from 1 2 3 till n minus i if you are done with the writing then please let me know i will go to the next slide so sigma is going to your i of 1 till n till n till n so here is going n minus i then n minus i plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 now see this is a constant so you that constant will go out of this summation it's going to your half summation i equal to 1 to n now you can do the multiplication n into n n square n minus i is minus n i then minus n i for this then plus i square then minus i i have did the multiplication okay i have opened the bracket yeah. n into n this is n square then minus n i then plus n so this plus n i missed so let me write plus n plus n i missed okay then minus n i then minus minus plus i square then minus i okay now if you use write 1 by 2 summation of i equal to 1 to n you are getting here you are getting here n square plus n plus i square My, this is same this is same that minus 2 n i minus i minus I. now you can take here half sum equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n n square plus n plus i square here you can take i as common okay i as common so it will be 2n plus minus i take minus i as common so 2n plus 1 is going to be. so 2n plus 1 is going to be 2n yeah correct plus 1 okay if you are done with the writing then please let me know so summation of i equal to 1 to n n square then summation of i equal to 1 to n is your n is your n 
then plus summation of i equal to 1 to n 1 to n is your i square and minus summation of i equal to 1 to n your term here is minus sorry minus i have taken here okay minus i have taken here outside it's your i 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 okay mm, i 2n plus 1 yeah now see here you are not having i here you are not having i it is the constant n square so n square will come here and summation is going you are going to remain is only one because it's two in n square into one like then i is going to 1 to l then here also n will come out because here i is nothing no i term is here okay so this is going to be constant here so n will come outside then some i is going to 1 to l 1 then here is i square so here i is there so 1 1 square then 2 square then 3 square then 4 square then 5 square it's like a square root of sum of natural number it's a square root of sum of natural number which is going to your till n it is going so n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 by 6 2n plus 1 by 6 then here this is a constant it will come outside minus 2n plus 1 will come outside and then sum of this this is going to happen i plus 1 into n i now this you are doing sum of 1 you are doing sum of 1 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 till n times till n times so till n times it you are doing so it is going to your n so you are going to get n okay so you are going to get here because you are doing this sum 1 plus 1 1 plus till n times so you are going to get n only if you are if you do one if you do addition of one till five times you are going to get five if you are doing to one plus one plus till five times you are going to get five one plus one plus one plus three times then then three one plus one plus one plus one plus four times then four so here you are doing this sum of one till n times so here you are going to get n here you are going to get n so here you are going to get half n square n then here n into n then here it, it will be as it is n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 by 6 see it is one of the difficult question okay it is one of the difficult question minus 2n plus 1 so it's like here summation of n number 1 to i is going to vary from 1 to 3 4 because i will increase 1 then 2 then 3 till n so it will go it will go till n so the you know that sum of n natural number is your n into n plus 1 by 2 so it is going to your it is going to your n into is going to your n into n plus 1 by 2 okay is going to your n into n plus 1 by 2 so here you got half n cube plus n square now here you can take the common n into this this thing is common 2n minus 2n plus 1 n n plus 1 is in common so you take n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 by 2 as common so here you are going to get 1 by 3 here you are going to get just minus if you are done with the writing if it is clear then please let me know okay here i have taken n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 as by 2 as a common here as a common i have taken if you are done with the writing then please let me know is it clear then also please let me know you are going to get half half then n cube plus n square then plus n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 by 6 by 2 it was there 2 okay then here you are getting 3 then 1 minus 1 minus 3 okay the same is going to 3 1 minus 3 yeah that also we can do him also uh, good so 1 by 2 then <coughs> so that method also we will show i will also show you n into here you take n as common then here you are going to get n square and plus n so you can take here in common then from here you can take uh, from here also you are having n n into n plus 1 2n plus 1 by 2 then you can do minus 2 by 3 you are getting so this will get cancelled out you are going to get here minus okay 
so you take in common from here you take in common from here so from in plus in square plus in again take in as common so you are going to get in plus one then in here it will be now minus here it will be now minus so it will be now minus now you are going to get n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 by 3 now take the lcm n by 2 then take 3 then you are going to get 3n n plus 1 then minus n plus 1 2n plus 1 if you are done with the writing then you can let me know so it will be n into n plus 1 then 3 into 2 is you are going to 6 so here you are going to get 3n minus 2n minus 1 because minus is there so it's going to your n into it's going to your it's going to your here only i am doing it's going to your n into n plus 1 then n minus 1 by 6 so it's one six of three consecutive numbers. So you can write n minus one, n minus one. Okay, then n, then n plus one. It's a three consecutive number. One six of three consecutive. Numbers. It's a one six of three consecutive. Understood. So by using elimination, you can also do. Okay, and this is also one way. So now see the option. What is the option? So option is saying that half of the product of three no one six yeah it is doing half one six of the product of three consecutive integer so no not one third one six doing one six so c is the correct one c is the correct one. 